a big hello to all the viewers today's video is about five educational games that you can have with pre primary students on zoom or on any online platform before i begin i would request you to press the like button if you like my video share if you care and subscribe my channel do not forget to click the bell icon if you want to get a notification for as soon as a new video is posted let's begin the first game is bring me something bring me something can be played in varied ways and as per the level of the child for example if you are taking up alphabets of english then you can either say any alphabet or use its phonic sound or you can show the alphabet for example alphabet s or you can simply show alphabet s or you can use its phonic sound bring me something that begins with the sound tip you can give 60 seconds to students to come back to you or if you want to revise counting you can count till 50 or 60 and as soon as the time is up you can shout out time up so that everyone can come back to their virtual class students can bring sandwich scissors socks star shoe sunglasses or anything that begins with s the second game is counting simon says so if you are not aware of what is simon says then let me revise it for you follow the instruction that begins only with the phrase simon says if it doesn't begin with the phrase simon says then simply do not do it doing it in the latter case will be a foul and you can have some fun there for example simon says clap 3 times you can tell the students to count along 1 2 3 simon says blink your eyes 5 times as students would blink their eyes they would count along 1 2 3 4 5 Simon says jump 7 times they will have fun they would jump and count till 7 tap 4 times on your head uh uh no 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 since it is not preceded by Simon says the children would not do it have some fun if any child follows the instruction that doesn't begin with simon says like sing a song recite a poem etc the third game is the picture reader you need to have the picture ready and questions ready for the students for example through this picture you can revise numbers colors naming words etc You may show picture on screen for say 30 to 40 seconds and ask your children questions based on it. For example, how many bicycles were there in the picture? How many trees were there? 2 or 3? What was the color of the t-shirt of the girl who was playing football? Students may answer, you may revise it and have more of such pictures in the class. The fourth game is what is that? This is a very interesting game. You need to have a whiteboard and a marker with you. You need to start drawing an object in parts and before you complete it at various stages, you will ask children to guess what you are making. It would further make the students curious and they would start imagining and thinking what is it that you are making. For example, I started making this figure. Oh it looks like alphabet C Then I moved ahead further and made a circle Oh it looks like an apple No no it's a moon Further I added some lines to it It's a sun So you see 
how many stages were there i took pauses it would be on the students perception on what the picture is and finally they can recognize the picture the fifth game is fun riddles you can have educational facts or any other facts you can take naming words and other things through riddles a few riddles i am taking as examples here for example what has to be broken before you use it think think did you get it what has hands but cannot clap hmm what are you thinking did you get it what is it that has a tail and head but no body Oh now this is worth a thought what is it having a tail and head but no body let's take one more i am red or orange i wear a green hat and i sound like a parrot what am i i hope you got the last one it was easy in case you are looking forward to the answers of these fun riddles they are given in the pinned comment So that was it for today. I hope you would use these games in your classes for uh, pre-primary students, for kindergarten students. As I say, you can always modify these games as per your students' level, as per the subject or topic that you are teaching. You all are doing a great job. All the best. Keep doing well. This is Priya Handa signing off. Reminder, reminder: Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. press the bell icon for getting notifications of my new videos thank you and god bless you all